day 21 of my Camino. I leave the small town of Hontanas at sunrise. The first rays of sunlight give the hills in front of me a golden glow. When I leave the green valley, I walk through the remains of the monastery of San Anton that dates from the 14th century. In the past, these monks would take care of pilgrims that were suffering from leprosy. As I approach Castrojeriz, I can see the ruins of a 9th century castle on top of a big hill. And after that, it is time to climb another mesa. A steep elevation, but it's worth the effort. From the top of the mountain, we have an incredible view of the meseta below. A good place for a short break. But what goes up must come down. An 18% descent into the green plains below. I arrive at the 13th century church of Saint Nicholas. A small number of pilgrims can sleep here, inside the church. It is run by Italian volunteers. Pilgrims will receive the traditional washing of the feet here, going back to Jesus' example in the Gospel. I enter a new province, Valencia, and I walk through the town of Bodilla del Camino. I then follow the canal of Castilla. You hear the strangest birds here. I cross a small dam and I arrive in Fromista. After a 34 kilometer walk, I'm very glad to have a bed at the municipal alberg. When I walk to the stunning 11th century church of St. Martin, one of the first Roman churches in Spain, the sky darkens and a thunderstorm chases us back inside. When a couple of us went to the local parish church, we found a note that mass had been cancelled because of a funeral. So the pilgrims ask if I can celebrate mass with them, which I do in the most humble circumstances, in the middle of a dormitory. And we celebrate the Mass in English, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch and French. It's a beautiful ending of the day.